I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel, I gotta respect it. And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel, I'm gonna respect I mean, it. You, you seem like you said your one liner. Like if that's all you have to say, you let's hug like and let's just let it go. You ain't trying to fight for nothing. You seem like you've already made your decision. It ain't decision. about me already making a decision. You don't have a rebuttal you for nothing like that I'm saying. You seem like you've already made your decision. I wanted you to say something. I'm and you're not saying to you speak. It's not time to listen. It's time to talk. All of the things you say, you want to be there. You're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. I've decided to move into another <laughs> You know what? This is classic. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Listen, I see both sides of it, but unpopular opinion. She talking about he didn't look like he was going to fight for her girl. He looked like he fighting on another team, girl. Are you sure he's batting for your side? Come on now. How much more do we need to see and hear? So this is the thing, right? Number one, if you say that you want to move on, the respectful thing for a man to do is allow you to move on, right? That, because who wants to be stalked and all that other stuff? However, however, I get the feeling that part of the reason that she enacted this test in the first place is because there were some things going on that made her feel that he wasn't really that into her to begin with. And girl... From what it is that I'm seeing from his mannerism, his face, and all of that, he is not, he, he, girl, there could be a lot more going on here that, look, this man does not seem fully heterosexual to me. Not to me. He seemed like he could be a little confused. He seemed like whatever it is, he doesn't really want to be there. If he did, you wouldn't have to play that game in the first place. My thing is, if he was really that into her, he would let his feelings be known. He would be showing up. There would be no question in her mind. You know, every man is different, right? There's some men who are a little bit more laid back. However, this is when you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your fella. Don't play these types of games. Have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. How do you feel about us? Who am I to you? I'm a fan of honest, open communication. I don't know what the issue is because I'm not watching this season. So I don't know what the issue is between them. But I can imagine that. And correct me if I'm wrong. I imagine that the reason why she's bringing this up to him is because there's some aspect of the relationship in which she's not sure. And I have read and heard that women are masters at testing testing to see how a person feels, how they're going to react, and that a woman is naturally going to test a man in the relationship. You know, much like the doctor tapped on your knee when you were little and your knee jumped. It was a litmus test to see, if I do this, what will happen? Is everything functioning correctly? However, I'm not a fan of this type of test. I'm not a fan of the let's break up test, let's leave test. I'm a fan of open, honest communication. Because you can never really 100% know why a person is engaging in certain behaviors. Like if you see, she says this to him, she's smirking, and then he goes and drinks from an empty water bottle. You see the water bottle has nothing in it, which means this could have been a nervous tick. You don't know how he's been broken up with in the past. He could be trying to shield himself. There could be a lot of things going on. That's why I'm not a fan of this type of test. I'm a fan of having open communication and paying attention to people's behavior and asking them about that behavior and letting one and one add up to be two. Because if you are asking them honest questions, if you are looking at how they're moving and how they're behaving based on what it is that they're saying, and one and one is not equaling two, then you have your answer right there. But I'm not a fan of this type of test right here at all. I'm a fan of say what you mean and mean what you say. If you feel that you need to go in a different direction, that means that you've thought long and hard about it and that let your word be your bond. But here she's playing these games and I'm like, mm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Somebody says he's a joker. I'm not watching the show, but I can imagine because he doesn't really look like, look, he doesn't look like he's that into her. He doesn't. And he looks like he would be into 
something a lot different than a her, if I have to, if I have to put it plainly. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.